Howdy again, it's Mr. Pete, your YouTube shop teacher, and this is a temporary video, and I'm going to rant and rave here a little bit. I'm really upset, so hang on to your hat here, and I've got some good footage for you coming up, and this is just a, a little bit of a preview here and introduction because there will be no narration during the actual footage that I'm going to show you but this is January near the end of January 2024 but about two or three months ago over in Princeton Illinois that's about 50 miles from where I'm sitting right now there was a truck accident let me explain that but first of all I just got back from Princeton Illinois I was over there with my buddy Russ and we went to a gun show and after we had a nice breakfast and all of that, I said, let's drive out to the covered bridge. I know it's been damaged by a truck a couple months ago, but let's see how bad it is. Well, we took a drive out there and we went, I don't care about barricades, we went right over the barricades and I took some footage right inside this bridge built during the Civil War, and I don't mean the Spanish Civil War. It survived earthquakes and fires and everything else, and it's equipped with video cameras. I know I'm ranting video cameras and a sprinkler system but it wasn't protected right through that thing I don't know at what speed I didn't know they even allowed vehicular traffic in that anymore because it's so old and so small but actually destroyed this 150 year old structure you're going to be shocked I hope that you instantly but this, I, you can tell, I'm really upset. I am a historian, as you know, and I like to check out old things. And uh, I've been in this bridge many, many times uh, when it was still in good condition. By the way, take a look at the creek below it there. It's really raging. We, the snow is melting, and there's a, uh, the, the Illinois River is totally flooded at Star Rock, totally covered the parking lot again. So... Uh, Let's cut to that footage and there'll be a few still pictures at the end and leave me a comment. What should the punishment be for the truck driver? A good scolding? Because you know that's what you probably got. All right. <laughs> On with the footage here. I hope you share my grief and anger and disappointment. You know, when, there, when you go over a bridge or under a bridge or an underpass, usually it tells you what the clearance is, doesn't it? 13 foot, 6 inches or something. So don't try to drive your 14 foot vehicle <laughs> through such a thing. Oh, the, the humanity. Let's go to the Red Cover Bridge and see what kind of condition this 100-year-old bridge is in. No swimming. She actually lifted up the rope. <coughs> I don't know if they can fix it. These timbers up here are all split. Look how this side of the roof is lifted up compared to the other side. Wow. The damage. Yeah. Shocking. 
But you know what? Well, no, it's pretty straight. A lot of times those bridges will say 11, you know, 8 or something, but the approach angle makes it different than 11, 8. Well, the sprinkler system didn't help. Not even the bird's nest. 